today we're going to communicate our ideas. We're going to use our sketches from last week about art that tells a story. Our essential questions for the day are, how will I use my sketch to create a finished drawing? What details could I add? We're going to start with viewing some pictures and a demonstration. Then we'll have studio time to create. Then you'll clean up your materials. And last, we'll reflect. The studio habit we're focusing on today is express. When you express your idea, you're going to think through the materials you might want to use, the lines, colors, and shapes you might want to use to express your idea. Now let's take a look at some artists' work. We'll see their sketches and see how they use those to create their finished pieces of artwork. This is by Vincent van Gogh. It's called Bedroom in Arles, and he created it in 1888. Look at this sketch and how it compares to his finished painting on the right. This is by Georgia O'Keeffe. She titled it Shell Number One in 1928. Look at the drawing on the left and how it compares to her painting on the right. These sketches and sculpture were created by an artist named Edgar Degas. He titled the sculpture Little Dancer of 14 Years, and he created it in 1880. Look at the similarities between his sketches and his finished sculpture. This is a bobcat wood carving by an artist named Heather Payne. Look at her sketches she created and how she made notes to know the sizes of different parts. Today, you are going to be using your sketch from last week. Um, you should have about three or four sketches that you completed last week with the theme of art that tells a story. So whichever one you decided was your favorite, that's the one you're going to be using today. So um, I have a few sketches here. I may just choose one. Maybe I'll choose this one right here to be my favorite. Uh, and now I'm going to only just focus on this one idea that I had. And today you're going to be using a new sheet of paper. If you have blank paper, that works pretty well. Otherwise, just anything you can write on will work. Um, but we're going to now put that little sketch idea, we're going to create it on a big sheet of paper or a, a clean sheet of paper. And we're going to finish it out a little more. Instead of just leaving it as a rough draft or a little idea, we're going to add the details and make it a finished drawing today. So uh, you might want to think about the way you're drawing. If you're drawing uh, with your paper tall ways like this or wide, uh, you want to choose that depending on your idea. So my idea was uh, where I'm learning to do a flip on the back. I mean, learning how to do a backflip on the trampoline when uh, there are all these tall trees. So I might want to turn my paper tall ways so it sort of matches what I'm going to draw. Um, and then you might want to choose, choose the materials that work best for your idea. So if I wanted to color a large area, like say a bunch of grass, I might want to use a crayon without a wrapper so you can hold it on its side to fill all that in. Um, before you start coloring, though, you should probably sketch it out with, it, with a pencil just in case you want to change anything. Uh, so I'm going to use this as my example. Uh, I'm going to put my horizon line um, somewhere about right in here, just sort of sketching out lightly. I have a tree here. Um, I'm just sort of sketching out where things go. And this is a good time if you want to change anything from your original sketch. Now's when you can change your ideas. So maybe if you have a, a part of your drawing that you didn't get a chance to do last week, or you've had a better idea of something you wanted to add to your sketch, now's a chance to add that. So then my little trampoline is down here. And top of it here. All right, so, and then I'm right here, doing my flip. So I'm just sketching very lightly in case I want to erase something. All right, once you get it all sort of sketched in, that's when you're gonna decide what material works best for what you need. So um, if I'm doing all this grass, if I used a little bitty marker for that, 
it's going to probably run out all the ink in my marker. So I probably want to choose something, a different material. Um, what about a colored pencil? Colored pencils have a really small tip too. So if you tried to color all this grass with a colored pencil, you're probably going to have to be um, sharpening it a bunch. It's going to run it way down on the lead. But a crayon would work well for this because I can just turn it on its side and I can cover a large area really quickly and it's not going to use up all my crayon. Um, so you may want to think through your materials today and choose, choose them based on what you need them for. Um, if I wanted to do an outline of a tree, outlines are, you can use a marker for an outline and it, it works pretty well to make something stand out if you wanted to use a marker for something like outlining. Um, you don't have to do an outline, but if you want something to show up really well, markers are good for that. Um, maybe if I wanted to color it in, this is kind of a small area. So I could use a colored pencil for this. I could use a, a crayon maybe on its tip to get a smaller area. Um, but a colored pencil works pretty well for small areas um, that you're going to need to get in little bitty areas like that. A colored pencil is going to work pretty well for that part. All right, so today you're just trying to match uh, your sketch, putting your sketch onto a, a new sheet of paper and kind of adding more details to it. You're taking more time on this one idea this week and you're choosing materials that work best for your idea and work best for each part of your drawing. All right, so you're going to use that sketch from last week. You're going to turn it into a finished drawing today. And then um, you can look at the reflection questions after you get done. It's time to create. Go ahead and pause the video, gather your materials, and begin. As I go over the reflection questions, feel free to pause the video so that you can think through your answers or answer with someone near you. Number one, how did your sketch help you create a finished drawing? Number two, if you were going to title your finished artwork, what would you call it? Number three, what part of your work are you most proud of?